Cell phones are better. DSLRs are better. Cell phones are better. DSLRs are better, I'm telling you. Cell phones are better, 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 better. DSLRs are very, very good. Cell phones are better. Solve this for us. Solve this for us. Hello and welcome to another video. This is AW Pixotica. Today's video is about uh, which is better, a cell phone or a DSLR. Right here, right now. I'm going to get this question done for you guys. Coming up. It's cold. I'm having coffee right now. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. But let me explain who I am. I'm Ali from AW Pixotica. Those of you who don't know me, on this channel we do tutorials, reviews, we talk about photography, we talk about filmmaking, we travel, uh, we vlog. So if you guys are interested in, chat, in this channel and want to make this community grow, consider subscribing. Coming over to the question for today, and that question is, which is better? What to buy? People these days are asking questions online on YouTube channels and, you know, asking questions from photographers, what to buy, whether to go for a cell phone or to go for a DSLR. Well, the answer is pretty, pretty simple. Let me tell you guys, it depends on you. What do you want to do with that particular set of system that you're trying to go for? Uh, I'm gonna be telling you a few differences uh, that are there. Uh, between DSLRs and cell phones to help you make the right choice according to your needs. All right, the first thing where the cell phones take lead over DSLRs is portability. You can take pretty much your cell phone anywhere, wherever you're going, you're traveling, you're moving in a vehicle. You know, these days places, there are certain areas, certain government areas which do not allow uh, DSLR cameras. However, they do allow you to carry your cell phone. So cell phones, when it comes to portability, beat the DSLR. If you're looking for a portable little camera, uh, you're not looking for, you know, a professional jibe to it and you want to just put it out of your pocket, point it at a particular direction or a subject and shoot, the cell phone is the best bet. DSLRs, on the other hand, are bulky, you know, heavy to carry. And uh, in our society these days, the social fabric or the social structure uh, revolves around people being a little insecure when they're around cameras. This is how we are, especially in Southeast Asia. Uh, this is a problem. So cell phones are the best bet when it comes to portability. All right, the next thing is the option of on the go, on the move editing, which cell phones offer you. Uh, you have various wonderful apps that are available. You can download them from the app store. If you, even if you're an iPhone user or an Android user, it doesn't matter. You just take the snap, shoot it, directly go into the editing software, get the photo done, you know, play with the colors a bit, edit it according to your needs, then throw it on the social media platform, wherever you're trying to post it, like Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're trying to post the photograph. Now this on the go uh, editing options are generally not available in DSLRs. Uh, now what the DSLRs, uh, you know, the DSLRs introduce that extra step of you to take that memory card out, put it in a laptop or a computer, then edit it over there, take that photo from there, uh, get it in your back in your phone or from the desktop or the computer that you're using and then posting it on YouTube. So that addition of that one step, again, allows the cell phones to beat the DSLRs in this particular field. So on the go editing and uh, you know, playing with the photographs that you have taken is best done inside cell phones. There are, there are a ton of apps available like Snapseed, Lightroom. You can download them and play around with your photos and the stuff is amazing inside cell phones. That's where the cell phones take an edge over the DSLRs. Right, enough said about the cell phones. Let's talk about DSLRs. Let's compare the sensor sizes of both the systems. Now, the DSLR has a large sensor inside it. Camera system on the smartphones generally have very, very small sensors. Uh, so that sensor size gives the advantage to the DSLR while it is performing in low light conditions or in an overall environment, if you compare both. Now, a larger sensor is able to get in the best amount of light 
uh, the pixels are gonna be really spaced out they're gonna you know give you a very very nice quality plus the image processing system that comes with the DSLRs allows the DSLR system inside it to process the images in a way that it looks very very professional uh, whereas the cell phone you know they suck when it comes to night photography when it comes to low light conditions you just simply cannot rely on a cell phone if you're shooting in low light conditions that's where the dslrs you know take an edge over the cell phone system cell phone camera systems that are available in the market so low light conditions is a big no for cell phones the dslr stick win Another factor where the DSLRs take an edge over the cell phones is the interchangeability of the lens that are available in, in the market. Now with the DSLR, uh, if you're trying to, you are basically able to choose a lens for every type of situation. There are landscape lens, there are portrait lens, uh, there are lens that are you know designed for videos, there are lens that give you a nice bokeh, there are, there are lens that you know get you to shoot wildlife, to shoot sports. <laughs> There are a ton of lenses that are available uh, when you're using a DSLR system uh, and the interchangeability of that, that those lenses gives the DSLR, gives, allows you to be flexible with what you're trying to shoot. Uh, however, when it comes to cell phones, there are a little options available of interchangeable lens these days. Generally, cell phones are coming with three or four lens system these days. But then again, uh, that's that. That's that for the cell phone. Those three lens are all that the cell phone has and mostly the the effects that the cell phones cell phone camera generates are through you know the software engine not through the hardware so this is another area uh, where the dslr uh, takes lead over the cell phone and that's the interchangeability of the lens system now the final point before i conclude come to the conclusion give you my recommendations is that if you look around or on the world of YouTube or you look towards Hollywood and people who are pursuing photography and videography as a profession, they always tend to use cameras. They don't use cell phones. It all comes down to you basically. You look towards Hollywood, you look towards big YouTubers like Peter Lindgren, Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, there are so many others, uh, Chris Howe, a lot of others. So they use good camera systems whenever they are making videos for YouTube or for any professional work that they, that they are doing. When it comes to Hollywood, when it comes to these people, it's always, you know, the, the professional side of it. If you want to bring the professional side out, it's a DSLR and it always beats the camera system on the cell phone. Now in the end, it all comes down to you guys. What do you want to do? Or with a camera in your hand or the camera system that you're looking for. Let me tell you a few points. If you're a casual photographer and you just like to take your phone out, shoot a few photographs and that's about it, do not buy a DSLR. Stick to the cell phone, stick to the cell phone camera that you have if you don't want to play with the big boys out there. Stick with the cell phone. If you guys don't have any plans of pursuing the photography field, as a hobby or as a profession or you know as something in which you can really really improve on or make money in later stages of your career or, your, or later stages of the time uh, i would recommend you not to go for a dslr stick to your cell phone stick to your smartphone camera system now on the other hand if you are planning to go at a pro level one day maybe having your own youtube channel or having a presence that is felt in the photography and videography and filmmaking world go for a dslr the sooner the better buy a dslr start practicing on it starts you know playing with the options you'll feel good about it you'll feel great if you are pursuing it as a serious a very serious hobby or uh, you are having plans to pursue it as a career in later stages of your life do go for a dslr do carry the cell phone camera because it is handy it comes to use uh, in some situations where you know you cannot pull out your dslr so the point is that if you're pursuing it as a profession or as a hobby Go for the DSLR. Now, the last statement that I'm gonna give you guys is that it all comes down to you and your needs. 
how do you perceive how do you take photography how seriously do you take photography it all comes down to you uh, i personally started off with a cell phone but i had plans in my mind of starting this youtube channel right here so you know with the passage of time i saved money and i saved a few bucks that i could purchase this camera which is a canon 250d sl3 it has 4k capability i'm going to do a review on it very very soon but that's me uh, then I bought a few other gears as well. I bought this light, bought, you know, a few systems. I bought a bag and all. Uh, but, you know, that all depended on my need, what I needed to do with it. Uh, you know, I wanted to pursue it at a professional level. So I went for the camera with a tripod and nice system and all that. So in the end, it all comes down to what you need. Uh, so identify your need identify what you want to do uh, with your photography and then decide what you want for yourself whether a cell phone suffices whether a cell phone is uh, doing the needful for you decide it for yourself uh, hope this video would uh, you know help you in making the correct decisions of choosing to shoot from either a cell phone or a dslr remember the question is not which is better cell phones these days are having cameras that are amazingly good they have excellent quality in comparison to a dslr but in the end it all comes down to you guys what do you want so this is aw pixotica i'll be coming up with you know a lot of videos really really soon uh, hope to keep this community growing uh, larger day by day with your help we are touching you know plus 160 subscribers thanks to you guys i'm really really happy also leave down in the comments section if you want a particular review or a particular you know discussion on related to photography, filmmaking, or vlogs, or anything of that sort. Any idea comes to your mind, do share it in the comments below. Do leave a like, do subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon if you haven't done so already. This is me signing off for now. See you in another video really, really soon. Bye-bye.